friends welcome to abhivyakti india's future classroom the channel that creates educational videos to serve the students community we say get in to learn and go out to serve to serve the family to serve the nation to serve the world and to serve the humanity now let us start with the new episode friends welcome to bank exam cafe today i will discuss the question paper design for class 10th 2017 and onwards before starting the discussion i request you to subscribe the channel and if you have already subscribed thank you very much let us see the question paper design here the question paper will test you for five parameters the first will be remembering that is your knowledge will be checked whether you remember or whether you can recall your knowledge just if it is asked if write the pythagoras theorem then it means what your knowledge is tested yeah, whether you can recall pythagoras theorem or not or particular term or particular concept or particular principle whether you can recall or not that is tested under this parameter the second one is understanding you can recall the knowledge but do you understand that or not for example here generally the teachers teach you the pythagoras theorem that this is a right angle triangle abc and he says that ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square where ac is a hypotenuse we learn this we can recall this also but whether you have understood it or not that is checked by giving the another situation suppose it is like that a b c now the naming is changed and it will be like that b c square plus a c square is equal to a b square square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides so here whether you understood that knowledge that principle that term or that concept that is check then the third is that of the application that knowledge you are remembering you know you can recall it you understood it but whether you can apply it or not that is tested you know the addition and subtraction uh, suppose your father has given you 10 rupees and told you to tell you to bring uh, pen and pencil suppose you bring 5 rupees pen and 1 rupees pencil and you spend 6 rupees it means you have left with 4 rupees whether you can do this transaction in the market or not that is the application whether you can apply this knowledge or not so the situation is given to you and in that situation it is checked whether you can apply the knowledge which you have gained during your class learning process now the next parameter it will be the hot question the difficulty level of this questions will be more as compared to the other question so these questions are very very important for the students that because the difficulty level is increased here and the last parameter will be the evaluation uh, these are the value based questions which value is asked and whether that value you can correctly judge that is checked here that is the moral based value is checked here and now let us see how the marks are distributed along with this five parameters in the question paper so here the typology of the questions will be remembering type understanding type application type hots type and the evaluation type the first set will be of the very short answer type questions vsa that will be one mark questions on remembering on remembering 
there will be two questions on understanding parameter there will be two questions on application parameter there will be two questions all these will be of one marks so in all there will be six questions of one mark so total marks will be six so two marks on remembering two marks on understanding and two marks on application there will be no hot question as far as very short type of questions are concerned and no evaluation parameter will be there now the second set of questions will be short answer questions this will have two marks remembering two questions will be asked understanding one question will be asked for application two questions will be asked and for hots also one question will be asked so this will be of two marks two marks two marks and two marks means for short answer type questions or remembering two questions of two marks will be asked one question of two marks will be asked two questions of two marks will be asked and one question for two marks will be asked in all there will be six questions for on short type or short answer type questions and that will be of two marks and in all there will be 12 marks the second set of questions will be short answer type questions only same but the marks will be three so definitely the difficulty will level will be more than that of these two marks question so for remembering there will be two questions for understanding there will be one question for application based there will be three questions and hot based there will be four questions and in all there will be 10 questions of 3 marks and therefore in all 30 marks will be there next set of questions will be long answer type questions that will be of 4 marks 2 questions will be for remembering 4 questions will be understanding based 1 question will be application based and one question will be evaluation based this is very very important only one question will be there in your question paper on evaluation based and there will be eight questions of four marks eight questions of four mark and total marks will be 32 so one mark questions six marks will be there two marks questions 12 marks will be there 3 marks questions 30 marks will be there and 4 mark questions 32 marks will be there and in all there will be 80 marks for the question paper. So here from remembering 20 marks questions will be asked and understanding based 23 will be asked 19 for applications total marks will be and hots based 14 marks will be there and evaluation based 4 marks question will be there it means if you see the weightage there will be a 25 percent weightage to the remembering even if you can recall the knowledge that you have studied or learnt in the classes the you will get 25 percent marks and for understanding there will be 29 percent marks and so if you can recall and you understand the knowledge what you have studied in the classes you can get 50 percent marks easily then application based question 24 percent is weightage is given and for hots there is just 17 percent weightage is given and for the evaluation that is value based question just 5 percent weightage is given and so total will be the 100 uh, percent weightage so friends you have got which type of questions will be asked to you on which parameters the questions will be asked and the weightage of the marks given to that particular parameters that also you know and now you can start studying for the 2017th 
examination that may take place in the month of february or may take place in the month of march that is not yet decided also students the sample question paper yet the cbsc has not published as soon as the cbsc publishes the question paper i will give you the solved answers to this through the bank exam cafe channel and till now stop here thank you very much for watching this video if you have liked it like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all updates right into your mailbox through notifications thank you very much friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much